Hi, I'm Chris Osman, and this is my take. Today I'd like to talk about the economy. More accurately, I'd like to talk about those things in the past that have affected our economy. One of these things is it goes back, it predates President Bush, who has been given a lot of credit with causing the collapse of our, um, of the American economy, and the world for that matter. But the thing that truly caused it was a, uh, a an ideology of deregulating financial institutions, which the idea was born during the Reagan administration, and uh, part of you know his philosophy was trickle down supply side economics, but it did not get pu really pushed upon the people of this country until the Clinton administration. It took a Democrat to get people to go along with the changes in the financial institutions that basically ended up creating this giant bubble in our financial sector. Um, the, the, the problem is, is that some of those people who were around during Clinton's time in office are now back in the, the jobs that they held or similar jobs that they held at that time in the Obama administration. And it doesn't make any sense to me that you would hire the very same people that caused the collapse of our economy back into positions in which they could, you know, wreak as much havoc as they did before. One of the players that I'm talking about, one of these bad actors that they love to talk about, the pundits love to talk about on the news, one of these bad actors was Lawrence Summers. He was one of the architects of the law that basically eliminated Glass-Steagall. He he pushed these three things through Congress. He got Clinton to agree to them. He got uh, all our government to agree to them and pass them. And then basically a lot of the things that that the that he did push were bills and, and laws and acts that basically um, limited regulation. It was deregulation of financial institutions. Um, and this is, as we know, what caused the collapse of our economy. But America is not look, has not taken an honest look at the past and what happened in the past and what caused these things. Because if they would, President Clinton would have some be held accountable for some of this stuff. I'm not sure that anything could be done to him because everybody seems to love him so much. But the fact of the matter is, is that it was during his administration that deregulation of financial institutions became such a popular and became so widespread. Um, one of the few people that fought it was a, a woman named Brooksley Bourne. She was um, the chair of the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, and she uh, basically fought tooth and nail against these this legislation that eliminated Glass-Steagall which was um, a bill that separated uh, regular consumer banks from uh, investment uh, firms. Uh, and she fought um, the, the deregulation of derivatives. Now, if our administration, if our current president was truly uh, interested in helping out the people, he would seek out her input as opposed to um, Lawrence Summers who was on the wrong side of history. It's been proven that he was on the wrong side of history. And not only that, he was hypocritical enough to uh, write speeches for Obama that said it was the deregulation of the banks that was the problem. But he was part of that problem. But he didn't point that out, out of course, in his speeches. So why would you bring back those very people that caused these problems, including, including Timothy Geithner? Why would you bring back people like that if you truly wanted to help out the American public? That's why I have no faith in the Democrats or the Republicans, and I believe that a third party is the only solution to America's problems, because both of the major parties are given too much money and too much control, and they are too controlled by corporations and lobbyists to actually benefit the people of this nation. Again, I'm Chris Osmond, and that's my take.